<sighs> I ain't gonna lie. It's the end of the workout. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. What's good, you two? Wait up. Hold on. Man, let me change this real quick. Let me turn on the lights real quick. All right, man, that's better. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, David, back with another video. Y'all already know how we do it on this channel, man. And today, I'm bringing y'all a hamstring workout, right? So I already started off with my mile on the treadmill, and I already did my dynamic stretching and the roller and everything. So I'm not going to bore y'all with all those details. We about to just get straight into it. So let's get it. So if you've been following me for a while, you already know that when it comes to my legs, I like to break up my quads and my hamstrings. So I normally have a day that's set just aside for my quads and a day that's set just for my hamstrings. If you watched my last video on um, my, push, my push day where I did my full day of clean eating, definitely go watch that if you haven't. But in that video, I broke down how I switched my split up to from a bro split to a push pull leg split. So today is Tuesday and it's my first leg day of the week and it's gonna be my hamstring. So I'm gonna hit hamstrings today and in about two days, I'm gonna hit my quads. But right now, I'm about to give you all a hamstring workout. To start off today, I'm gonna to actually start off with some uh, hamstring curls on the leg extension machine. And then from there, we're gonna go into some Nordic curls. So I normally don't do Nordic curls so early in the workout, but um, I'm gonna switch it up today. So let's get into it. All right, fam. We're about to get into it. Not gonna go super heavy to start off. Just gonna get the blood in the muscle and go from there. So with these, if you don't normally have like the traditional, um, you know, like leg curl machine, like standing leg curl machine, you can try these. It's a great way to warm up your uh, hamstrings before starting off the workout. You're doing an isolateral movement, so you're allowing each one of your hamstrings to work independently. Also, the workout, full workout will be in the description. Again, don't be in a hurry. With your hamstrings, your hamstrings are pretty much not a small muscle, but they're not the largest muscle of your leg that you're not utilizing you know your glutes and and your, your back and all those other muscles to try and get the weight up you want to make sure that you're allowing your hamstrings to get some good money all right moving on to one of my favorite um one of my favorite hamstring workouts right now or exercises right now nordic curls so if you saw one of my recent instagram posts i talked about how if you don't have somebody who can hold you down when doing your nordic curls you can use a weightlifting belt. So all you want to do is find a flat bench, come around the backside, take the bar off, obviously. Bring this around the backside, put your feet together, and then loop the belt behind your legs. Just like that. And then you ready to rock. So again, with Nordic curls, you want to come down as slow as possible. And again, I'm not the strongest with these. I'm trying to get better. My goal is to eventually be able to go all the way down slowly and come back up. But right now, we're still, you know, in the baby stages. I ain't even gonna lie, them hamstrings burning from that first exercise though. That's again, so make adjustments to your belt if you feel like it's not tight enough and you feel like you're getting a little bit too much, um, it's a little too loose. The tighter it is, the more leverage you have. So uh, when it comes to like Nordic curls, uh, what makes them so effective is that you're kind of working your hamstring in the opposite direction of what you normally do for all of your other curls. So it's really working that negative of, your, um, of the muscle. So, that, uh, so in like your posterior chain, a lot of times, just like we were doing, you know, the curls, you have a lot of contraction here, but not so much here. So when you're kind of working the eccentric part of the movement, that part is what's really being activated with the Nordic curls. So 
try these out. I was very surprised to see how weak I was at this, but you know, we all got to start somewhere. And also for my athletes out there, um, this is really great. It's a really great exercise for y'all to try in order to get your speed up and to really strengthen your hamstrings. You know, football players, football season's coming around. Make sure y'all getting these type of workouts in. So, you know, it really will help you prevent those hamstring uh, injuries, so. Shoot for as many as you can get that are somewhat clean. So with these, I normally shoot for however many I can get. I don't really have a set number. Sometimes it's like between six to eight reps. Whatever is, whenever I'm getting those good clean reps, whenever it gets just a little too sloppy, I tend to cut it and then uh, just wait for another set. Yeah. See, I was getting real sloppy towards the end. Once I get a few of those sloppy reps in, I just tend to quit. All right, now we're gonna walk over over here to the squat rack and we're gonna do, this is something that I've been really liking uh, in terms of like uh, something to really activate that posterior chain and to get that really activated. So like the glutes, hamstrings and the calves. I've been doing some good mornings. I feel like that's a really good way to not only really activate my, um, my glutes, but it really feels like it taxes my hamstrings a lot. And I normally do these, so we're gonna do these. And then after this, we're gonna go into some um, RDLs. So some stiff leg deadlifts or Romanian deadlifts, whatever you wanna call it. But I really feel like this is a great warm up to really get that posterior chain activated. And then I go into some heavy RDLs. So let's get it. Make sure you don't have your neck up right here. You wanna make sure your, your head is looking straight down at the ground. So you wanna keep that neutral spine. So I'm looking straight up and then my head is following the path of which I'm falling uh, or which I'm letting myself down. So now I'm looking to directly towards the ground. So basically you wanna be looking straight the whole time doing this exercise. And for me, whenever I normally get down to, you know, um, to the bottom, kind of parallel with the ground, I tend to go a little bit deeper than parallel just to get that extra little stretch on my hamstrings. But again, do whatever's comfortable for you. Again, this is a very, um, not elite exercise, but an exercise you wanna be cautious with just because you're putting your lower back in a very compromised position. So just be, just be very mindful. Don't load this thing up with a lot of weight. You're gonna see in a minute after I do this warm up, I'm only gonna probably add about 10 pounds to this. So or 20 pounds to this total. And then when you come up, I want you to squeeze those glutes together. Comment down below, what's some of y'all favorite um, hamstring workouts that y'all like to do? Um, I don't know why I keep saying that. I've been meaning to say hamstring exercises, but it is what it is. Y'all know what I mean. Also, don't forget that like button. Do it right now. Come on now. Ain't nobody giving y'all free game like this. Come on. Ain't nobody breaking up their hamstrings and quads like this. Boy, my back is sore. Also, I like to have my feet about like shoulder width apart. Uh, I don't like to have them too close, nor do I like to have them too wide, just about shoulder width apart. I feel like that's a, a good neutral position and I get the, the best activation of my hamstrings. You can, you know, move your legs out further and closer in to kind of hit your hamstrings from a different angle. But I find that, you know, um, neutral width um, or shoulder width is just right. It's perfect, it's right in the middle. You can't go wrong with it. Notice with these, as I'm going down, I'm pushing my, uh, my butt further and further back. I'm allowing my butt to really go back as far as possible and then come straight up. Good work. All right, now we're gonna move straight into some hamstring or some RDLs. So, um, just gonna, honestly, we'll leave this real quick and we'll warm up with this. Um, 
For me, I just like to warm up, regardless of my hamstrings are already warmed up, I like to warm up with each movement. So I'm moving in a different range of motion now, not totally different from what we were just doing, but for me and for my mind-muscle connection, I like to at least warm up um, with every exercise that I do, regardless of how warm I am, or regardless of how far we are into the workout. Same principles with this. You wanna be looking straight the whole time. Now we're gonna add some weight. As of lately, I've been really liking um, going really heavy with these. Not like super, super heavy, but way heavier than I normally do. I just feel like it um, really breaks down my hamstrings. It's kind of one of the only movements or hamstring exercises that I like to do heavy. Everything else I don't like to do too, too heavy. I like to do with a medium weight or a moderate weight um, and kind of get you know higher reps with this. Um, I normally shoot for about eight reps, um, depending on how heavy it is, maybe six reps, but normally just that higher rep range to really build that strength. Hey, I got the recipe, never gonna let any, I'll be the best of me. Thought it was distance, but hey, this is nice to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company, definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a diss, cause I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up, bread like a speeder. Taking it deeper, and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the promise that's meant for me. I know the enemy and that he sent for me. I keep the blood of the lamb as my centerpiece. I cannot trust in no crystals or energy. Look at the chemistry, it do not even mix chemically. Most of the tricks, they be gimmicks, they mimic the truth. It's poison and we got the remedy, ugh. All right, fam, we're gonna finish this workout off with some stability ball um, ham curls. The reason I started really incorporating these into my workouts is because the um, hamstring curl machine here at this gym has kind of been, it's been out of commission for I don't know how long now. So I had to find a different exercise to do that would kind of give me the same, um, I guess, movement and same feel and same activation of my hamstrings that the hamstring curl machine would do. So I looked into stability ball ham curls. I was very skeptical at first. I didn't think it was gonna really burn as much, but this has become literally one of my favorite, like second favorite um, hamstring exercises. So we're gonna knock these out to finish off the workout. And I'm not really done, cause I remembered in the middle of my workout that I forgot to do, ham uh, I forgot to do calves first. I normally do my calves first at the beginning of my hamstring workout and my quad workout but I forgot to do it today just because I'm recording a whole lot of different things, a whole lot of stuff going on. So it just slipped my mind, but I'm definitely gonna go back and do those. So let's get into it. Wanna raise my butt. This is something that I've definitely been trying to work on is getting my butt up. So I like engaging my glutes and in my core to really stay upright in a pretty much straight line. Uh, position and then curling up like this. Show me the door and I'm prying it. Ain't never lacking it. So what I'm packing, he taking it, he magnifying it. They say you Yeah, and all you want to do is basically just drag your feet towards your butt. But God did it. But you rose like the flower. I ain't gonna lie. It's the end of the workout. And I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. I normally don't do these last, like the very last exercise of the workout, just because they are a little taxing and I'm already taxed from all the other exercises I've done throughout the workout. So it just makes these a little bit more difficult, but hey, there ain't no excuses. We gotta get it. All right, there you have it, fam. Fully loaded hamstring workout, man. Look down at the bottom of the description. I have all the reps, all the sets, all the exercises that we did today right there for you. So try it out for yourself. Let me know how you like it. If you have a different exercise that you really think is one of your favorites, let me know down in the comment section. 
Um, also, I've been on a cut, so if you're interested in what I've been eating to stay um, eating during my cut, go check out that video right there. I did a full day of eating clean. If you want something a little bit different, a little bit different vibe, definitely go check out this play playlist right here. I went to Vegas and things got crazy, so definitely go check that out. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we out, man. Stay prayed up. Let's go. I put in work and then he show up. I know it's faith that's in the reps. Ain't no regrets. I do too much. It ain't